Hi guys, welcome back to Mad Science. My name is Martin and today we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. This is a fun little experiment that we can do at home. It's going to be something that's going to kind of push some of our chemistry skills and we're going to learn all about uh, different reactions in this experiment. So we don't need a ton of very complex ingredients. You can probably find most of this stuff around your house. Uh, the most important part of our experiment today guys is going to be our yeast. So we're going to take some traditional uh, active yeast, mix it in with a water solution, and hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is essentially just a water molecule with an extra oxygen atom in it. So it's going to be very reactive to certain things. Our yeast has something called catalase in it, which is going to work as a catalyst to make that chemical reaction even faster and explosive, so to say. Not a fiery explosive, but a bubble and fizz really nicely and give us what we want. The next thing we need is going to be dish soap. The dish soap inside of our hydrogen peroxide and yeast stuff is going to add some extra bubbles and make our foam nice and thick for our toothpaste. And lastly, I've got some food coloring here. Food coloring is just to kind of throw in there and obviously color our elephant toothpaste, make it look kind of cool. So with all that said, uh, let's grab our ingredients and we'll get into our experiment. All right guys, now that we've got all of our ingredients together, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take about two, one or two tablespoons of yeast. It's not an exact science, so you can kind of play around with it. I used probably about a cup, cup and a half of like room temperature warm water with two tablespoons-ish of the dry yeast powder. I put it in there and I mixed it all up. Up at the top, I've started to get small, foamy, little frothy bubbles. That's how I know my yeast is ready. So that only took a couple minutes for that reaction to kind of get going. So once that's all set and ready to go, you can take some of your hydrogen peroxide and put about an inch, inch and a half worth of peroxide in the bottom of the container you want to have your toothpaste in. The next thing we'll do is take some of our dish soap. Again, I haven't been measuring this stuff. This stuff isn't so precise. I'm going to take a liberal squirt and put it right inside of there. So once I've got peroxide and soap inside of my bottle and my yeast is ready to go, next thing is just going to be a little bit of food coloring. I'm going to add, let's call it three drops into our mixture here. I'm just going to give it a quick little spin just to kind of spin it around. Our color is nice and green. The soap is there. We should be ready to see how this goes. So at this point, guys, you want to make sure you've got some gloves and some goggles on. 3% peroxide is not very dangerous, but if you got it in your mouth or your eyes, it could sting and fizz and hurt a little bit. You want to do this experiment with uh, somebody around, a caregiver, a parent, whoever, somebody responsible who can make sure that nothing unsafe happens while you're going. So, without further ado, we'll test out our toothpaste. So, let's grab our yeast and we'll mix it in. And there you go. You can see that our elephant toothpaste is working perfectly. I probably could have used a little more food coloring to a little more green, but you can see it's nice and thick. Guys, if you don't have gloves on like me, maybe don't want it the foam just yet because some of the peroxide might not have reacted with the yeast. But since I got my gloves on, I feel pretty safe doing so. So we got lots of thick foam from our elephant toothpaste. Now guys, something I have noticed, when I touch my foam, it's incredibly warm. That heat is coming from an exothermic reaction caused by the hydrogen peroxide and the catalyst and the yeast like I was talking about earlier. So this is a fun little thing you can do at home to kind of play around with some different chemistry stuff. All right guys, now that we've tested it out on a small scale and had some fun with some elephant toothpaste, I figured we'd step outside and have a little bit of fun with our science skills. So we're gonna take what we just did and do it much larger, much bigger, much more exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some hydrogen peroxide this is going to be a little bit under a liter of hydrogen peroxide in the bottom of my bin. I should say guys that on this scale it's going to be quite messy. The hydrogen peroxide I'm using is quite strong. All of these things compound to lead me to say don't try this part at home. Unless you've got a chemist for a dad, something like that, let me do this part, okay? so. 
Now that I've got my hydrogen peroxide in, we're gonna do, again, our liberal squirt of soap, which is gonna compound to be quite a bit. I'm just gonna go to town there. All right, guys, we got our hydrogen and soap inside of our, our giant cylinder here. I'm gonna throw in some green food coloring. Green's my favorite color, so I picked that out. Ironically, it was the most food coloring I had. Again, I'm gonna put as much color in here as possible, because when I did only a small amount on a smaller scale, it didn't turn out to be quite enough. So I'm gonna use most of the bottle of food coloring in this to give it a nice green color when it goes off. All right guys, so inside of our cylinder, we've got our soap, food coloring, hydrogen peroxide. That's all ready to go. I mixed up some of our yeast solution and filled it inside of these balloons. These balloons are just gonna be so I can get all of the yeast inside of the cylinder without it exploding all over. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these up into here. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna stick this stick right in and pop it and it should work for us. There we go, that's some elephant toothpaste. As I said before guys, you can see the steam coming off of here. This steam is from the exothermic reaction that's caused by the hydrogen peroxide and the catalyst in the yeast. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. I'm gonna go grab some buckets and clean up this giant mess. I hope your house looks a little cleaner than our driveway does. We'll see you guys next time.